Hello dear students. Today we will discuss about adaptation in plants. We all know that our earth is covered by both flora and fauna. Flora means plants and fauna means animals. So today we will discuss about plant kingdom only. Adaptation in plants. Plants are found almost everywhere on the earth. Plants grow in various regions on the earth. Some plants grow on mountains, some on plains, desert and even in water. There are various species of plant and they adapt themselves to grow in the particular region of the earth. So let us now look up the essential key points that we will be discussing today. Habitat and Adaptation Terrestrial plant and its kind Aquatic plants and its kind Insectivorous plants and non-green plants Plant Habitat and Adaptation Let us first learn the meaning of habitat and adaptation. What is habitat? The place where a living organism lives in nature is called its habitat. In ecology, a habitat is the type of natural environment in which a particular species of organism lives. A species habitat is those places where the species can find food, shelter, protection and mates for reproduction. So we can say that Habitat, place where an organism or a community of organism lives, including all living and non-living factors or conditions of the surrounding environment. Adaptation, features that help a plant or an animal to survive in its natural surroundings are called adaptation. Any alteration in the structure or the function of an organism or any of its parts that result from the natural selection and by which the organism becomes better fitted to survive and multiply in its environment. Terrestrial plants. Now let us discuss the points that we will be discussing about the terrestrial plants. There are various kind of terrestrial plants. Number A, plants which grows in plain areas. Number B, plants which grows on mountain areas. Number C, plants in the desert region. Number D, plants in coastal areas. Number E, plants in swamps. A terrestrial plant is a plant that grows on, in or from land. And other types of plant are Aquatic that you know which grows in water, epiphytic on trees and lithophytic that grows on rocks. So the trees those grows on plain, mountain, desert are the example of terrestrial habitat. Plants in plains. Plains means large flat areas of land. They are of two kinds. Number one, plants those grow in the low rainfall area, other grows in the heavy rainfall area. Plants growing in plains with low rainfall areas show the following adaptation. Number A, it spread out many branches. And number B, it sheds its leaf during the dry season and so they are often called as deciduous trees. Example, the gulmohor tree. Again, plants growing in plains with heavy rainfall show the following adaptations. Number one, it has thick foliage and number B, they do not shed all of their leaves during dry season and remain green almost throughout the year and so they are called evergreen trees. What is the basic difference between the deciduous and the evergreen plant? 
the key difference between deciduous and the evergreen trees is that deciduous trees shed their leaves seasonally while evergreen trees keep their leaves throughout the year without showing a seasonal leaf shedding. Plants on mountains Mountains are highly raised areas of land. It is generally colder than plains. Example, pine, fir, deodor are the examples which grows over there. These trees are flowerless. Instead, they bear cones with seed. The following adaptation are, these plants are usually tall, straight and have a cone shape. They are flowerless. They have cones with seeds inside them. Leaves of these plants are needle-like, have a waxy coating to prevent any damage from snow. And the examples are pine, deodor and fir. Plants in desert. Deserts are covered by rocks and sand dunes. It is a dry region where rainfall occurs very less and sometimes it doesn't occur at all. Plants need very little water to grow. Cactus, acacia are the example of plants that grow in deserts. Desert plants adapt themselves by they have very few or no leaves. Instead, they have spines and thorns to prevent the loss of water. Number B, the stem of this plant are thick and fleshy. They are succulent in nature. Succulent plants store water in fleshy leaves, stems or roots. All cacti are succulent as they are such non-cactus desert dwellers like aloe, elephant trees, etc. Number C. The stem of cactus are green as they contain chlorophyll to carry out photosynthesis. Plants in coastal areas. Coastal areas or areas along the sea coast have harsh conditions like rocky and sandy areas with saline soil. Strong and salt laden winds generally blow there. So they have this following adaptation. Sea coasts have harsh conditions like rocky and sandy areas with saline soil and the fruits and the seeds are generally scattered by sea water to far off places. Examples are the coconut, dates and palm. Plants in swamps. Swamps or marshy areas have clay soil, which is sticky and contains a lot of water. Mangrove plants grow in swamps. Places where the soil is very sticky and clay are called marshy areas or swampy areas. So it becomes very difficult for plants to grow there because Ear cannot reach the roots and they have breathing roots to take in ear. Breathing roots also help to absorb water and minerals that are required to carry out photosynthesis. Aquatic plants Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. These are of three types. Number A, floating plants. Number B, fixed plants. And number C, underwater plants. Aquatic plants are plants that have adapted to living in aquatic environments. They are also referred to as hydrophytes. Floating plants. Plants that float on water are called floating plants. 
plants such as duckweed, mosquito fern, water hyacinth, and water mill are free floating plants. These plants possess a lot of spongy cells full of air which helps them float on surface of water. Floating plants have roots that hang in the water but are not attached to the pond bottom. Fixed plants. Plants that have their roots fixed to the bottom of a pond are called fixed plants. They are found in shallow water. Lotus and water lily are the examples of fixed plant. And they have this following adaptation. Number A. Hollow stems and broad leaves keep them floating above the water surface. Number B. Leaves have waxy coating to prevent from decaying. Number C. Leaves have stomata only on the upper surface to absorb and release gases. Number D. Roots are fixed to the bottom of the pond. Do you know the stem of lotus is eaten as vegetable and is also known as Kamal Kakari. Underwater plants. Plants that grow under the surface of the water are called underwater plants. Tape grass and pond wheat are the examples of underwater plants. Number A. These have narrow leaves without any stomata. And number B. They breathe through the surface and keep the water clean. Insectivorous plants. Typical plants grow in nutrients rich soil, but insectivorous plants are found in soil that are poor in nutrients. So they catch insects and get their nutrition from them. The pitcher plant, since it eats insect, is also known as the carnivorous plants. Plants that feed on insect are called insectivorous plants and the Venus flytrap and pitcher plant are the examples of insectivorous plants. Their leaves are modified to trap insects. Venus flytrap Venus flytrap has leaves that are like boxes with hinges and they have long hair along the edges and when an insect touches the hair, the leaf snaps shut, trapping the creature inside. And the pitcher plant, it is in the form of a container or a pitcher with a lid to cover the mouth. So, when the insect gets inside, it get trapped. Non-green plants. Non-green plants they do not have any chlorophyll in it. So they are known as non-green. That means when there is no chlorophyll, it is not green in color. And the example are Indian pipe and the chloral root. Saprophytic plants are those plants that cannot make their own food. And so they grow on the remains of the dead plants and animals to absorb Food from them. Let's recap. So students, today we have studied about habitat and about adaptation. We have also learned the definition of habitat and adaptation. We have learned about the terrestrial plants and its kind and the various plants those are found in the various region and of the earth. Plants which grows in plain area, plants on mountain areas, plants in desert region, plants growing in the coastal areas and plants growing in the swampy areas. Aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are those plants those grows in the water and they are again of three kinds. Floating plant, 
fixed plant and the underwater plant. And we have also learned about the insectivorous plant and the non green plants. Assignment Students, please do these assignments in your scrapbook. Collect pictures of plants growing in different habitats. Sort these pictures into terrestrial and water plants and then paste them in your science scrapbook. So, you can also see the different types of habitat. They are like desert. You will be doing one desert plants. You will be writing one example and paste one picture. Forest. It depends both on the low rainfall area and the heavy rainfall area. You can also take the picture of the grassland area, mountain region, ocean region and the wetlands. Wetland here means the plants those are found in the swampy region. So please complete this assignment. I think it will be quite interesting for you to collect the various pictures and to write their names and to paste it in the scrapbook. Thank you dear students for watching this video. If you have not watched the previous video, please do watch it. The link will be provided in the description. Until then, stay connected and stay safe.